Hello, my name is Maria. I'm a research associate at Imperial College London. Today I'll be presenting our paper, Informative Path Planning for Active Mapping Under Localization Uncertainty, which was done during my PhD at ETH Zurich. Consider this UAV navigating in a greenhouse to monitor a target parameter, such as temperature or humidity, using measurements taken by an onboard sensor. We study the problem of active mapping, where the aim is to efficiently recover the environmental field. Most previous approaches assume perfect pose information and only consider the current state of the field map when generating new plants. As a result, if the robot is lost, it continues to take measurements at inconsistent locations, leading to poor mapping performance. Our motivation is to improve upon the accuracy and robustness of field reconstructions by allowing the robot to adaptively trade off between gathering new information and keeping good localization. To address these issues, we present a new framework for active field mapping under localization uncertainty. Our contributions are on three main fronts. First, unlike previous methods, our framework accounts for the pose uncertainty in two places, mapping and planning. This allows us to create robust and accurate maps. For mapping, our strategy exploits a Gaussian process to capture the target environmental field given the uncertainty on its inputs. For planning, we propose a utility function that tightly couples the uncertainties and the robot pose and field map in GP-based mapping problems. Our formulation addresses the exploration-exploitation trade-off in a principled way without relying on any manually tuned parameters. Finally, our approach is evaluated extensively in a 3D SLAM setup, and we present proof of concept in a real temperature mapping scenario. In general, the active mapping problem seeks to maximize an information measure given a mission budget con constraint, such as on time or on energy. Here, the function measure obtains a set of sensor measurements along a trajectory from which information value can be calculated according to the utility function i. In our work, we propose a new utility function that jointly considers field mapping and robot localization in GP-based scenarios. For mapping, we use a GP to represent a continuous 3D field in an environment. Given a set of measurements, the field values are inferred using standard GP regression. To propagate the pose uncertainty into the model, we use the expected kernel technique. Essentially, this method integrates over uncertain inputs to build the kernel matrices in the regression equations. Let's look at an example. Here we see a ground truth distribution of a continuous variable, such as temperature, in 3D space. The second plot shows a spiral trajectory traveled by the robot in this environment where the spheres indicate measurement locations. Localization is based on a distribution of landmarks on the ground, such as tags, detected by a downward-facing camera. These plots show the maps obtained without and with considering uncertain inputs. And here we see the corresponding error distributions, where darker shades show higher error. As expected, the method without uncertainty produces much higher error, motivating our approach. As mentioned for planning, most previous utility functions only consider the field map state, neglecting the robot pose uncertainty. This is because the field map and robot pose are represented in fundamentally different ways, making their uncertainties difficult to couple mathematically without heuristic tuning. We propose a solution to this problem for a continuous GP-based mapping scenario. We begin with the definition of Shannon's entropy for a continuous distribution, commonly used to develop measures of information. Our approach is based on a general definition of entropy, Rennie's entropy. Importantly, Rennie's entropy features a free parameter, alpha, allowing us to scale the uncertainty associated with the distribution. In the range of 1 to infinity, we can see that as alpha approaches infinity, uncertainty decreases, leading to more information gain, whereas if alpha approaches 1, uncertainty increases, whereby Rennie's entropy approaches Shannon's entropy in the limit. 
we exploit this behavior to scale the information value based on the robot localization uncertainty. Whereas typical utility functions are defined based only on the trace of the GP covariance matrix or the map, we now propose including the Rennie term in the posterior to scale the value of future information. Our insight is to relate alpha to the robot pose uncertainty predicted by the state estimation system. Intuitively, we desire high information gain when the robot is well localized and low information gain when the robot is lost to achieve consistent mapping. This is achieved using a simple relationship coupling alpha to the pose covariance matrix trace. The takeaway is that this formulation allows the robot to adaptively trade off between exploiting the known map to stay well localized and exploring unknown areas. Putting together our ideas in mapping and planning, our planning algorithm works as follows. It operates in a finite horizon manner, alternating between re-planning and plan execution online until a specific budget is exceeded. Each new plan is a smooth polynomial trajectory defined by a fixed number of points. The re-planning procedure involves two steps. First, the initial trajectory is obtained by performing a sequential search over a 3D grid in the robot workspace. Then, this solution is refined using the CMEES, an evolutionary optimization routine. To evaluate the trajectory, we calculate the information gain along it, defining I as a new uncertainty aware utility function. In our experiments, we first concentrate on evaluating planning. First, we compare different utility functions in our framework, field map uncertainty reduction only, uncertainty reduction rate, and a weighted linear combination of the field map and robot pose uncertainties. We also compare against different planners, the rapidly information gathering tree with different objectives and random planning. All methods consider the proposed strategy for mapping on, under uncertainty and are given the same time budget. The plots show how the methods perform on different information metrics in terms of mapping on the front, uh, on the top and planning on the bottom, and a Rennie-based approach is shown in orange. By using the new objective, we effectively trade off between exploration and exploitation to both improve mapping accuracy and localization performance as desired. Next, in the same setup, we fix the Rennie-based utility function and considered behavior without and with using uncertain inputs for mapping. Looking at the orange curve again, the proposed approach improves mapping accuracy and localization performance, and this is because it allows the robot to achieve more conservative mapping with consistent field reconstructions. Finally, our framework was deployed on TurtleBot to map a temperature distribution in real time. The robot is equipped with an onboard temperature sensor and a laser scanner for localization. The right side shows thermal imagery of the setup from an aerial view. To generate an uneven temperature distribution for mapping, we placed a radiator in one corner of the room. Let's have a look at the results. The left plot shows the current state of the temperature distribution overlaid on top of an occupancy map of the indoor environment. The white line is the trajectory traveled by the robot at a particular instant. Initially, the field is at a constant temperature corresponding to the GP mean, but as more measurements are taken, the field becomes more complete until the radiator is localized as the high temperature area in the corner. In summary, we propose a new framework that accounts for the robot pose uncertainty in both mapping and planning. For online mapping under uncertainty, we use the expected kernel to integrate over uncertain inputs. A key contribution is a new utility function for planning in GP-based scenarios, which allows the robot to adaptively trade off between exploration and exploitation without the use of any heuristic tuning. The system was evaluated extensively in simulation and a proof of concept deployment was presented. For further details, please read our paper. Thank you for your attention.